Hi, hello, and welcome, everybody, from the friendly confines of my living room. I am Doug Goodman. You know, the ongoing pandemic has meant that many families with young children are staying physically distanced. That's why today's playbook is all about staying connected through video chat. Skype, Zoom, FaceTime, whichever app you choose, video chat is a great way to help your little one build a relationship with long distance family and friends. Isn't that right, early childhood expert Rebecca Parlakian? That's exactly right, Doug. Young children learn and develop by interacting with loving adults. Video chat gives little ones, even babies, the opportunity to communicate, connect, and learn from a loved one on the screen. But hey, Dr. Jason Vargas, I thought pediatricians recommended against screen time for babies. Live video chat is an exception because it allows the adult to respond to a baby's sounds and gestures and have the real time back and forth interaction that's so good for the development. A baby can see when adults have responded to them real time and they can respond back. And we can respond with the top five tips for video chat with young children. Here's tip number one. Hey guys, it's Luis Gonzalez from the Arizona Diamondbacks. And here's my tip, get up close and personal. That's right, your little ones can't see you from the cheap seats. Gonzo knows the name of the game is eye contact. So make sure you're front row center and ready to go. And we're ready to go with video chat tip number two. Hi, I'm Zeke Jones, head wrestling coach at Arizona State University, world champion and an Olympic silver medalist. Get your timing right. Know when it's time to make your move and when to be patient. Take it from coach. Schedule your chat for when your little one is alert and more able to pay attention. Mornings are usually better. And shoot for just five minutes or less of video chat action. And now it's time for tip number three. Make it an interactive experience for your little one. Got any ideas, Olympic gold medalist Christy Yamaguchi? Read them a favorite book. Your child can follow along at home while their chat partner points to the words and the illustrations. There's also plenty of fun ways to play virtually. Isn't that right, parents? Dance party. Now let's welcome early childhood professional Cat Willard to the party for video chat tip number four. Ask them open-ended questions and be a good listener. With little ones, they may need some extra time to respond. So try not to jump in too quickly. With older children, they may want to lead the conversation and that's fine too. Just go with it. And let's go with our final video chat tip number five. Show them the love. Making that emotional connection what it's all about. When the adult on screen tickles your baby's tummy, give your child's tummy a tickle too. When grandma or grandpa leans in to kiss your toddler, give them a smooch at the same time. By playing this important role, you help nurture the loving relationship between the child and their on-screen family member or friend. You know, friends, positive long-term relationships with caring adults are essential to a child's healthy development. And video chat is an outstanding way to help them stay connected with the ones who love the most. That's all for this time. We'll see you next time on Parents Playbook.